நம்ம மண்ணில் பிறக்கிற ஒவ்வொரு உயிருக்கும் அவங்க அவங்களுக்குன்னு ஒரு உரிமை இருக்கு ஆனா அது அவங்களுக்கு கிடைக்குதா நம்ம நாட்டுல நாளுல ஒரு குழந்தைக்கு பள்ளிக்கூடம் போறதுக்கு கூட வாய்ப்பில்லை பல பெண்களுக்கு இன்னும் பதினைந்து வயதுக்கு கீழே திருமணம் நடந்துட்டு இருக்கு இன்னும் பல பேருக்கு அவங்க போடுற உழைப்புக்கு தகுந்த வாய்ப்பு கிடைக்கிறது இல்லை கேள்வி மட்டும் கேட்கிற நமக்கு அதோட பதில தேடுற கடமையும் இருக்குன்னு உணரணும் உயிரும் உணர்வும் உழைப்பும் ஊனும் ஒவ்வொன்றாக இழக்கும் நிலைமையில் இருக்கிறோம் இதை மீட்டு வருவதற்கு கணம் ஒன்று வேண்டுமே Hello all, uh, I was someone who was brought up in cities and I used to live in my own urban bubble uh, uh, and then I compared my life with these western sitcoms and movies and used to feel sad and when I tried to volunteer for an organization and uh, that's when it really hit me uh, what kind of a privileged position and I am in and I saw these youngsters there who were recruiting other youngsters, who were training other youngsters and all because they just thought it was unfair that certain sections of the society is not as similar as certain other sections and they had mapped out uh, you know the vision that they wanted to carry out for the next 10 years and this was shocking for me because uh, you know youngsters are always labeled as these short term mist rebels uh, who have like a lot of energy but it always dies down and you know the, the consistency these people had really inspired me and uh, I've had the good fortune to work with a lot of uh, young change agents and I take inspiration from them every day. Uh, come on, let's move forward together. While I was studying in my college, I was a pretty good student. I used to score good marks and I got placed in a very good company. I thought life is going to be wonderful and pretty easy after that. But when I went to my first job, I felt it so difficult. I understood that I fell into the trap that was imparted by the society upon me that if you can get good marks, you are going to excel automatically in life. I was good at academics. I was good at concepts. But I was not able to put my concept in front of people. I was not able to talk to people confidently. I was not able to convince people or influence people. I was struggling in my first job. After a few years, I joined this organization called Make a Difference. where we go and volunteer to teach children across shelter homes in India. There I started interacting with people and I, a lot of new avenues opened to me. I came to know about this forum called Toastmasters where I joined, where I joined soon. Once I joined Toastmasters, I felt really confident about myself. From a person who was not able to talk to people, talk in front of a single person i was able to talk in front of masses and communicate my message effectively from there i came to know about another media called podcasting i started doing podcast and i started interacting with different people across india and i was able to know different different things how these people think how about their life journey it it makes life more and more interesting nowadays so when we join a community lots of different things open to us and there are new 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 things in new in life and that will keep life pretty exciting let's move forward together by joining a community and mingling with people and i believe that's one of the best things you can do thank you kana vinai kalai sei dai சென்றாய் அனைத்தையும் முன்பே எழுவீர்